Alright, T, let's see here. Get going and then. Are we going? Come on, baby. Don't be frozen. Ah, oh, don't do me like that. Oh, maybe we're going. Uh, oh, we frozen. We frozen. I knew that would happen. Right, well, let's close the window. Let's try to load it up again. I thought I had everything ready. Dang it. <laughs> well, we get to look at a nice, pretty, freaking retro wave thing. There we go. All right, now we're going. <laughs> uh, boy. Sometimes I wonder why I even bother trying to preload the game and then go back in and mess with the... <laughs> mess with the uh, the recording stuff and then go back to the game. I should just get the recording stuff set up and then load up the game. Yeah, it seems like it would work, but whatever. Alright, so hi. Here we are. Playing some Dishonored today. I don't know. I just don't have any... I don't have much of an intro to go with. It's just like... It's a cloudy, gloomy day. Good day to stay inside and play video games. I don't even have to feel guilty that I'm using my lunch hour to do this. This is great. Let's just continue where we left off. Continue with our no-kill stealth run. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. I feel like I remember this part being kind of a pain in the boot hay. I want to take a look at. I um, just want to look and see. I have two runes right now. I feel like I was just going to be saving some runes at this point. Because most of the stuff that's available to me right now is stuff that's more important if you're going to get yourself in, like, firefights and knife fights and stuff. Shadow kill. Agility could be handy. Um. But agility is really only handy for the movement speed. And I'm so far from getting the movement speed that I don't know that I really want to worry about that. Um, like, that's kind of a low priority for me. Um, wind Blast isn't great because it can kill enemies. Devouring Swarm, again, attacks, injures, and possibly kills others. Um, and consuming corpses isn't super necessary. Possessions, possession could be handy, but I can't afford that one right now anyway. Um, and I can't afford any of these. We've got dark vision already maxed out, which is good. Um, blink. Upgrading blink is handy for just, like, choking dudes out. Um, and then stopping time is handy as well. So it's like I really want to just save up and double down on these bad boys. Um, maybe grabbing possession. But, again, I just, like, I can't afford it now and... Yeah, I don't know. Controlling animal targets is kind of nice to a degree, but I don't know that it's really something super necessary. Um, and then, I don't, yeah, I haven't really found any bone charms at this point that I feel would be better than the ones that I've got right now. So, cool. Alright, we're going to go there. Um, we've got, oops, no, that's not what I meant to do. Where's my heart? I need, I need, I need my heart. I want my heart on my hand. Um... Got a rune up there, and rune over there, and that is it. So not much to worry about at this moment. Oh, that's the one guy that we're supposed to spare, isn't it? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot he was trapped. Okay, let me see here. Is it just the one guy there? I think it is. We're just gonna go for it. For the rats. Jasper, isn't it? Just gonna go ahead and carry him. We'll just go ahead and put him down out the way over here. Um, is it F to drop him? Yeah, F drops him. There we go. Alright, bruh. How's it going, bruh? What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Yeah, can. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. I just want to make sure that I'm remembering this one properly and that this dude is the one that we want to spare. Yeah. 
Overseer Martin. Yep, okay, it's necessary one. Yeah, it was this guy. It was Captain Kerno. That's the one I was actually thinking he was. He's the one that we want to spare. Okay. Alrighty. Yep, so I guess I, I guess I don't really have much of an option here but to unlock you, do I? circulation, and I seem to have forgotten my mittens, so... I'd appreciate it if you could release me or at least go gather some fire. There we go. There you go, you bum. Hey, how's it going, inflatable cat? Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find him. So kill Campbell and we make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal. His notorious black book. <laughs> get out of there. Oh, we're we're stealing that thing. <laughs> you, you know what? Honestly, can't say much different. But I feel like that's just kind of like a background thing. <laughs> background state of life. Being a train wreck. I know that feeling. If I see Samuel the boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard. Behind the office of the high It's almost redundant to describe myself as, <laughs> as a train wreck. It's like, yeah, duh. Are you still talking? Jesus, dude. King of the long-winded speeches, am I right? Yeah. Some people. Oops, I'm getting stuck on the wall here. Yeah, I know I can use Blink to do stuff like that, okay? I don't need clues every single second. I'm not that dumb. I mean, I'm not Einstein here, but... Come on, give me some credit. Can I just jump there, or do I need Blink? I might need Blink to get that one. No, see, look at Look at I'm skilled. Look at who needs blink? What a waste. H Hatters fired the first shot, but Bottle Street Gang fired the last. Hey, Spooky, how's it going? Good to see you. Okay, I feel like I remember over, somewhere around here there's like a, a way to get under and below those guys. Or Oh, no, I'm thinking of just getting in the boxes and you just hide in the little box fort and like <laughs> just like sneaky grab people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let me see, I just want to make sure, yeah, those things are over there, we don't need to worry about them at the moment. <laughs> I've been streaming for ten minutes, not one hour. At least not that I'm aware of. My comp I, I mean, you never know, maybe my computer's sentient and it's doing its own thing. <laughs> but as far as I'm aware... Okay, so we got one guy over there. I just want to observe these guys' movements. There's those two there. Okay, and they're done talking. They're going to go on their own thing. It's always helpful to just sort of sit and observe. I feel like this game is designed well in that it does it does reward if you take the time to uh if you if you take the time to sort of monitor their movement patterns and see like where they go cuz we know we got one guy that'll come all the way over here. And there's one guy who's evidently going to stick over there. Forget, I feel like there's a door that's over there. Um, and then we've got this guy coming over. <laughs> Computer has a... It's my Hexblade patron. I'd be cool with that. I'd be cool if I could just summon a patron that's just like a kick-ass gaming computer anywhere I want. That's That'd be... That'd make waiting rooms so nice. <laughs> oh, man. End up sticking with the island idea for D and D. Yeah, I th I think I'm gonna stick with that one. Um, I haven't thought about it much today. I've been busy with other stuff, um, but I haven't I haven't erased it anyway. Uh, it's still there. It's still there. You got a test in 30 minutes. What are you doing here, goofing off? Now's the time to cram. I can't I can't say that. I was n I was I was such a brown nose and goody two shoes in school. I never crammed for tests. I was always like way over prepared for tests. I was I was that kid who is like sitting there stressing about memorizing random facts and then never ending up needing most of them for the test. Okay, I feel like I remember what I ended up doing was I, like, crouch down in here. Where's my... Is it not going to let me crouch down in it? There we go. I was going to say, I was like, wait a minute. And I just, like, hid under here in the little fort. <laughs> how's, it go how's it going, Nysha? Good to see you. Okay. All right, here he is. Here he is. Look at him. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. Oh shit, there's both of them. Shh, shh, shh. Everybody go hide. Everybody go hide. They can hear us. <laughs> okay, so there's that guy that goes over there. And that guy's gonna turn around now. So now's the chance. That's the chance. Come on, gotta get him, gotta get him, gotta get him. Shh, 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 shh. Let's 
come with me. Shh, 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 shh. Come on, we're gonna take a walk. We're gonna take a little walk. Take a little walk. Right. I think I think if I just drop you right here. Shh, 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 shh. You just have a nice little nap. There we go. See? No one even has to know. No one will ever know. Alright, here we go, here we go. All you all you kids in your ability to have studied minimally and still find success. <laughs> yeah, no, I was... Well, the thing for me is, and you can probably guess this considering how obsessive I am about organization for my D&D, &D, really what it was for me is I made just like daily study and review a part of my routine. So it's like if I had, especially in college, like if I had three hours of lecture in a given day, I would fill up another three hours of studying and reviewing stuff. So really that's what it was for me. So it's like I never like studied for a test, but rather I just was constantly reviewing things so that it was like committed to memory before I would even need it for a test. And like that's the kind of that's the kind of dweeb I was. Alright, come on. Come on, little guy. Come on, we're just gonna go we're just gonna go take a nice little nap. Gonna take a nice little street nap. So a nice little special nap right there. There you go. That's a good spot for you. There we go. Thank you, Fort. Thank you, Fort. But yeah, that's the kind of student I was. I was like, like I treated, I basically what I did was I would treat school like a job rather than just like school, um, which had its perks. I mean, I was definitely spending way more time in libraries than I needed to for the sake of studying. Um, but it panned out. I, did, I ended up doing pretty okay. Come on, go ahead and go to sleep. Go to sleep. There we go. I'm just going to leave you here. There doesn't seem to be anyone else around here. Ooh, free grenade. Neato. <laughs> the one. I, I hear you, Spooky, being the being the, the black sheep of the of the family. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, go rest up, Nicia. You're sitting here. We're even logging on here in the first place. I, I appreciate you... Logging on just to say hi, even even when you gotta go. I appreciate that dedication. That means a lot to me. But definitely go uh, go rest up then, if it's getting late. I don't know how you people are night owls. I'm in bed by eleven, at like the latest, the latest. Okay, I'm just I just wanna I don't I don't know if those guys are gonna see me through the fence. Like that's the thing that's concerning me right now. I I don't know if they're programmed to be able to see me, so I gotta wait till he's like walking away. And we're just gonna go through here, and then we'll go back through the other. There we go. There we go. Alright, we'll go through here. I do like the concept of the black sheep of the family, that like you know, the the outlier of the family being the one who's like religious scholar, like you know, the most pious of any of them. There's something there's there's some form of irony in there that I enjoy. <laughs> I don't need any of these things. I'm not using any of these deadly things, man. Alright, now I gotta be careful here. I think this is a good time. To cheese to cheese the saves here. <laughs> this is if there was ever a time to do it, this is it. This is it. We made some progress, so it's like let's not get that taken away by some some asshole guard who's actually observant and good at his job. Okay, so we have a couple guys there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Many pathways. I'm aware of that. And in the spirit of many pathways, we're gonna come on down here. Inflatable, you can ask me for D and D tips at uh at any time if you want to um i might be distracted in answering them now um <laughs> you know if we, if you want me to chat about them because i'm trying to trying to not get my get my my dishonored anus uh found out by oh look at these guys walking around up there um but you can ask me anytime i i'm always ready to talk D D. although definitely i'm i'm much more attentive to D D concepts during D D streams but i mean if you if you got questions and stuff like by all means by all means feel free that's what the that's what the chat's there for right all right here we go here we go here we go okay okay come on jump it okay all right all right Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna take a peek. Just gonna take a little peek. Just a little peeksy poo. See what's going on there. Okay, so we got nothing going on in there. Shh, shh, shh. Okay, all right, all right, we're good, we're good. Okay, okay. Spending time on your pantheon, yeah, for sure, man. 
Uh, oh wait, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do. I don't want to go to the kennel yet. We want to stay here. I I got myself turned around. I forgot where I was. Just uh, playing spy boy here. Playing spy boy here. I mean, you can argue that like working in a pantheon is kind of like studying, you know, like religious studies and stuff like that, right? I mean, it's a loose fit, but it's kind of on topic. I mean, not that I would know all of my... I, I have had zero training in any of those fields. I, my, my education has been 100% uh, environmental and medical sciences. Okay, I'm just going to go back down here just because I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I want to make sure I, I'm not missing anything. Hey, Eldritch, how's it going? Good to see you. Glad to have you here. Alright, okay. Like, see, this is where this is where me playing this game... <laughs> is liable to get very frustrating for uh <laughs> for anyone watching because i um i am like taking super the super cautious approach to everything what can i a custom system are you talking about like a like a tabletop rpg system in there eldritch i forget what you mentioned i remember you said you were working on something but i forget you can, yes, absolutely. You can borrow my brain for environmental knowledge. What kind of questions you got? I will, I will happily answer questions about the environment. I, I have a lot of specialized knowledge, and that's kind of where I gave myself the, the moniker Enviro Boy. You know, like the crappiest, the crappiest superhero sidekick name you can think of. <laughs> yeah, no, I can, I can happily answer questions. I have a lot of. Um, you know, by education, I have a lot of uh, inside knowledge, and by profession too. That's my job. I'm an environmental uh, analyst. Um, how does carbon tax works exa work exactly? I guess it kind of depends on regionally. Um, but uh, carbon tax, I'm assuming you're talking about the concept of of doing extra like taxation on high carbon output uh, vehicles and systems um, and stuff like that. Um, and it, it really is regional. Um, so the state that I live in doesn't really have any sort of carbon tax system beyond just the fact that if you're a large factory business uh, that operates on um, pro you know, manufacturing that produces a lot of carbon, uh, there are extra fees and stuff that you have to pay for licensing. Um, uh, but it, it's it, typically speaking, usually what it means is that um, there will be tax breaks that you can submit for when you're when you're submitting your taxes or filing your taxes. Typically speaking, you can um, you can submit like if you have a low carbon output vehicle or something like that, you can um, submit to have it a tax exemption when you're filling out your um, when you're filling out your tax forms. And so you can either get tax breaks or returns uh, if if that tax has already been ref been withheld. Um, so, but it's it's very regional. Um, different states will have different things. Um, we'll, we'll have different stuff in order. Okay, I'm just going to go into the into this thing here. I guess I don't really have a reason to screw around with those guys there. We're just going to go to the kennels. Like, screw it, right? Um, but yeah, that's typically that's typically speaking how it works. Um, oh, shoot. That's right. The freaking dogs. Hold on. We're going to save. We're totally going to save here and just have ourselves a good fresh start point here. Um, but Eldritch, that's awesome that you're making your own tabletop RPG. That sounds like I, um, at one point, had been goofing around with the fate system and modifying the fate system at one point to try and make a sci-fi RPG. Um, I had been doing that for a while. How do I only have two sleep darts? Man, I have been I have been fast and loose with my sleep darts. Um, but yeah, I was using the fate system at one time to to produce a uh, or to try and make a a, a um, like a space themed um, system. Um, that kind of fell through just because all my players were disinterested in it. <laughs> so, so I guess that I guess that speaks to how uh, I guess that speaks to how uh, <laughs> to 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 how good it was. Um, <laughs> that's but that's awesome, Eldritch. That's awesome. Uh, don't worry, inflatable cat. I'm just bouncing between a few things, but I I love talking about environmental stuff. Um, let's see here. What what what's your follow up question here? Want to start driving into an environment study? Where do I start? Honestly, um, it depends on. I, I don't know. Uh, you know what your education level is so far, um, but honestly, just start studying biology and uh, chemistry. Um, those are the two things, and they become pretty applicable. So for me, um, I like I say, I studied a lot in in terms of medical sciences. Um, so okay, I got to figure out. Sorry, I, I'm like, I'm limited resources here. 
I, I gotta, I gotta figure out because I don't have sleep darts to just go all kinds of willy nilly. So I might just have to sneak past these guys. Um, but I got my start uh, in environmental health by actually initially going into veterinary medicine. Um, so I spent a lot of time studying biology and biochem type stuff. Um, is what I had, um, what I had originally done. And uh, so, and that just kind of was a winding path. Um, I was in vet school, and I was like academically, I was doing fine, but I just I, I was losing my passion for it um, for a lot of reasons. It just wasn't the right fit for me. So I moved on to a, uh, um, you know, I, I sidestepped and was doing epidemiology, which kind of went into environmental health, because um, environmental health doesn't necessarily just mean um, doesn't necessarily just mean you know keeping. Uh, uh, keeping the environment healthy, but like our human environments. So environmental health includes, you know, how do we keep healthy communities, which uh, involves a lot of epidemiology and disease tracking and study. And that just kind of leads into a lot of these other things. Um, so let's see here. Oh, man, I got to catch up here. Um, so if you're interested in climate diplomacy, um, there's definitely going to be a lot of law involved in that type of stuff. Um, and that's a little separate from what I, I do. Um, I'm basically an air. Whoopsie. Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, we're just going to reload. This isn't going to go well. <laughs> uh, I should have had my eyes on. All right. Um, <laughs> um, but, yeah, so if you want to go into diplomacy, um, you're definitely going to want uh, some law uh, mixed in there because um, I'm, I'm much more on the, on the field side of it. Um, that said, I would definitely encourage still a lot of biology and chemistry um, because that's kind of what environmental health stems from. And it is it's good to understand the law, but if you want to understand the laws and where they come from, it's helpful to understand the stuff. So that would be my recommendation. Um, uh, you know, if you're going into that stuff, chemistry might be a bit more, a bit more on the nose for you, um, just because biology is basically just applied chemistry. So chemistry might be a bit more on the nose. Um, but spooky, I will fight you. You're sitting there talking about bio being boring. I will fight you. Bio is awesome. You just haven't had good educators. That's what I would argue. Um, cause bio, cause bio is is sweet. I love me some bio. <laughs> Spooky, you can call me a nerd all you want. I ain't ashamed of that. Okay. I mean, I feel like I feel like that's kind of a given understanding, considering I stream writing Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Like you're not gonna you're not gonna surprise me or make me rethink my life by calling me a nerd, man. That's just like if you want to bully me, you gotta you gotta find something else. <laughs> yeah, I know you're just messing with us, spooky. I I appreciate that you're comfortable enough with just joking with us. Okay, we're gonna come back over here, and we're gonna just try and hide over here for a minute. And yeah, cause see there he goes, there he goes. See, I almost got myself in trouble again. <laughs> we're all nerds here. That's for damn sure. We're all just a bunch of nerds around here. That's and that's and that's a wonderful thing. Spooky, yeah, you know, and the thing for me, I, I don't know much about what things are like in Canada. But here in America, like I say, I was in veterinary school and I was I was working towards I actually wanted to be a, a farm animal vet. I wanted to find I, I wanted to be able to use um veterinary medicine to improve the treatment of farm animals as a way to also improve the health and lives of uh oh this is not gonna go well dang it <laughs> dang it all right come on i'll figure this out i'll figure this out this would be so much easier if i had more sleep darts if i hadn't already used like all of my sleep darts this would go much better i will figure this out <laughs> but the veterinary field the, the thing that drove me away from the veterinary field um was the amount of pressure and the the, the amount of pressure put on to new vets particularly when it comes to like trying to become a professional in an atmosphere that really just doesn't care about you as an individual um, and what I mean by that is veterinarians when they're first starting off here in America you know you're, you're getting a full the, as far as the education and the educational cost you're getting a full medical degree it's a full medical degree um, and you would have to you know and you have to and people don't realize in most veterinary settings it's it, the the process yeah like you're saying it takes 10 years it really doesn't it, it's not much different in terms of becoming a full-fledged practice owning veterinarian 
um, because you have to go through the process of internships, residencies, all that kind of stuff. The difference is a, an internship or a residency for someone with you know, six figures, four hundred thousand dollars of of student debt for for veterinary medicine, they would expect to make about thirty k annual, um, and so for me, just the stress involved, you know, and that comes on top of also being expected to work like eighty hour work weeks, and so all that stress just it stopped being worth it to me. I was losing my passion for it, and I realized I did not want to be working in a field that would keep me in debt. Uh, indebted to it for a lifetime when I already was losing the passion for it. I just didn't want to do that. Um, and so that's why I sidestepped into environmental health, and it's been a much better fit for me. I mean, I have a much better work-life balance. Like me sitting here streaming, I love doing this, and there's no way I would ever be able to do this if I were a veterinarian. No way. No way would I have the time for this. Um, it wouldn't happen. I would not have the finances either for the life I live right now. You know, like I was able to afford a brand new gaming PC um, recently, and... Um, and that was, you know, that's all I need to be happy. I don't need an extravagant yacht or anything like that. Um, but I would never have been able to afford this on a veterinary internship salary with that kind of debt. No way. No way would I have done that. So, um, Spooky, deciding between uh, accounting and engineering. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, I don't know anything about either of those. <laughs> so I can't, I definitely wouldn't have any sort of advice to offer there. Um, I will say, though, just generally advice on life. Um... Don't think of it as, like, a lot of people try to think about, like, oh, do something that you love and you'll never work a day in your life. I mean, kind of. Like, I, I do really enjoy my environmental, you know, my job as an environmental um, analyst. Uh, that said, if I won the lottery and didn't have to pay my bills, I'd never go back. Like, <laughs> you know, it's not like this was my passion. I dreamed of doing this as a child. Um, but I find it fulfilling and I find it meaningful. And I find the days tolerable. At at worst, I find the days tolerable. So think about it in those terms. Like, Don't try to decide like whether engineering or accounting is your passion, but think about which one would give you the best balance of what else you want to do in your life um, and what one would give you, give you, uh, um, what would give you satisfaction in your life, right? Like, I think that's something that people forget about. Like, it might not be passionate, but if you find satisfaction, if you find meaning in it, then it is still a good option. Um, I gotta, I gotta figure out how to, like, move around and get past this. Freaking. No, we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. Like, forget it. Nope. Just, just go, trying to go past. Dang it. <laughs> I was just gonna try and run past him and, like, hide, break light of sight. That did not work. That did not work. <laughs> <laughs> it's my passion. That's right. Well, I mean, that's exactly it. That's exactly it, Eldritch. Like, I don't imagine many people would say that that was their passion. But it pays the bills. They find it tolerable. And they probably find some sort of satisfaction. I mean, I can't lie. There's a lot of days when, even with my job, you know, I spend a lot of time in the office reviewing uh, documents and records um, that are just like, it takes hours sitting at a desk to review these. I'm just going to try going through this door. I just realized there's a door right there and I haven't actually tried going through to see what happens. Um, you know, and there's there's days when I just think like, man, I would love to just quit my job and go work construction. You know, go work with my hands. Do something like that. Right? And I have to imagine there are a lot of people who feel that way about, you know, like driving a garbage truck. Like... There's something nice about just like you got your list, you go check it off, you go do your work, there's satisfaction, you know that your job is essential for society continuing to uh, operate the way it does. Like there's nothing there's nothing to sneeze at there, you know, and it's like I think that's what some people need to be better about realizing is that to a certain degree work is work. That's why they call it work, right? And there are jobs that need to be done. So, and that's, and that's how you earn your keep, right? That's the concept. Now, the balance is way shifted towards the CEOs that don't actually work. They just own everyone that does the work. Why is this guy only going back and forth between these two? Go up and down the hallway, you nut. Gosh, this guy's driving me insane right now. As soon as I come up with a different plan, he glitches out, and he's just going back and forth here. He's driving me insane. Driving me insane. You're damn right it's important, Spooky. Absolutely. Uh, engineering is 100% important. And so if that's, you know, if that, if it gives you satisfaction and stuff, then go for that. And accounting is pretty important too. Um, I mean, it's all work that needs to be done. And that's the thing. And that's like, that's why for me, I absolutely can't stand. This guy is fucking, you know what? We're just going to, okay, fuck it. 
Jesus Christ, he's pissing me off because he glitched out there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I lost my cool for a minute there. We're going to reset. <laughs> We're going to reset and try again. <laughs> it's just he spent this whole time going up and down that hallway, giving me all kinds of grief because I couldn't safely go up and down that hallway. And as soon as I'm not going to, as soon as I'm not going to do that, he decides that's not what he wants to do. <laughs> this game is a goddamn worst. It knew, it knew exactly what it was doing. It knew exactly what it was doing. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. Inflatable just is like makes it. I, oh my god. He's going to do it again. He's going to freaking do it again. You freaking sociopath. Just turn around. Walk down that hallway. Just walk down that hallway. Just go down that hallway. Yeah, military. The military has definitely good, uh, good opportunities. And when I was still in veterinary work, I actually had thought a lot about going into. There we go. I had also seriously thought about um, going into the military as a veterinarian because they actually have a lot of need for um, veterinarians for the sake of taking care of military animals. Oh shit! I need a combo for that. Oh no! All right. There's going to be a way to do this, man. Well, this guy's pretty isolated. We're going to try and knock this guy out, and we can do that. We can do that. I'm not going to do it, Spooky. I'm not going to I'm not going to kill. I'm not going to kill. We're just going to take a nice little nap. Just a nice little nap. Just a nice little nap. See? I'm going to just put him up here. Right? So that way he's safe from any rats. There we go. See? There we go. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. But yeah, I had actually myself thought about going into the military. Um, again, I liked it not to because the thing I realized with military, like my concern was being trapped in sort of the endless cycle of veterinary work without really there being a possible end in sight. Um, and I realized that military wasn't necessarily an excellent alternative if that was my concern, considering that the military would have expectations that I would stay in for certain amounts of time. Um, so... Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> but from when you put it that way, Spooky, working on tanks and big guns, um, you know, when you put it that way, I can't, I can't fault you there. Although, counterpoint, working in air quality and going to factories, I have a few facilities that I go to where I get to work with the facilities and help them maintain uh, compliance with EPA regulations uh, as they manufacture components of, like, you know, tanks and, and jets and stuff like that. Um, there are some places, some manufacturers that I go to, and I have to like plan ahead, and I have to work closely with them because they're military contractors and they make st stuff like that. So it's like, you know, you'd be surprised at how integrated a lot of different things are in life, um, you know. And and to and to that point too, Spooky, that shows that if you're going into engineering, you can work on military uh, engineering without actually joining the military as well, because they contract out a lot of stuff, or at least here in America they do. Um, so. Um, I don't know like it's just you'd be surprised at how integrated it is and the other thing is like I say people think a lot about like what do I have a passion for it's like don't always necessarily assume passion find something that's fulfilling because work needs to get done spooky if you're talking about engineering being your passion since you were eight I think you have your answer if you're debating between that and, and accounting aren't you don't you I mean there you go if that's something that you're passionate about then by all means go for it that's here. It is of the utmost importance that you do not open this cage without my approval. Voracious, <laughs> voracious is ill and quite temperamental. Should his cage be opened, he might attack and endanger anyone patrolling the kennel. <laughs> Signed, Houndmaster Wharton. Okay, so I'm not gonna open that one up. I'm not gonna open that one up. That's you know that's not a bad I, that's not a bad consideration, Eldritch. Like, you know the. When when work needs to get done, it's not a bad consideration to. Uh, oh wow! Look at this! Look what I just found. Boop, we'll put that there. Okay, I gotta make sure I'm paying attention to which thing is which. So this is F. I want to open up F, but not necessarily any others. <laughs> I did open it, Spooky. The only one I'm not opening up is the Hound one. Because not only do I not want to get attacked myself, it's not even cowardice. There is some tactics to letting the hound go ahead and target and attack everyone else. But we're trying to go no kill. Okay? That's why I reloaded when I lost my temper there. 
<laughs> I, I, any game that has dogs, I wish there was a, an option to pet and befriend them if it didn't. Like, I wish this game had a better option for, like, befriending the dogs. That would be amazing. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't actually ever get anything done. Surrounding our innermost beings with these strictures. Oh, wait. Yeah. Being with these strictures, and you will be safe. The seven strictures are our core principles, taught and reinforced by overseers across the Isles. From these principles stem all manner of rules, social codes, and beliefs about the cosmos. The seven strictures, wandering gaze, lying tongue, restless hands, roving feet, rampant hunger, wanton flesh, errant mind. All these behaviors must be restricted in order to keep one's heart free from malevolent influences. They are the inroads of the outsider. I actually really like what this does. Um, I really like what this does for the lore of this world. Because it demonstrates just kind of how sinister these overseers are because when you read those those are shockingly vague which offers up a whole lot of room for interpretation of those in charge to just decide when something is or isn't in compliance with them that is that is some excellent work uh, in terms of um, in terms of is he really a survivor he looks like a dyer to me <laughs> he looks dead but I'm gonna take his money because he doesn't need it no 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 give me give me the coin give me the coin there we go there we go how about you? You doing okay? You don't need that. <laughs> What's this do? Hound cage release. Oh wow, so they can like choose to release the hounds? That's an odd place to have that if they're prisoners. Whatever. <laughs> Spooky, I, I appreciate the uh I appreciate the nuance that you're bringing up. But I'm trying to be better than these guards, okay? I don't want to kill them. I don't want to kill them. I want to be better than them. Okay, so we knocked that guy out. The, the the tricky part here is definitely the dogs. Um, the dogs definitely make things. You can't just choke out the dogs. You just can't choke them out. Like, if it were just these dudes wandering around, like, if it were just that dude wandering around, no big deal. I could just choke them out. But those dogs, I don't know I don't know what those dogs are going to do. They're unpredictable. They're, they're wild animals. <laughs> all right, all right, he's coming this way. Shh, shh, shh. Everyone be quiet. Everyone be quiet. He's coming this way. Shh, shh. Oh, shit. Huh? God damn it. Hold on, hold on. Idea, idea, idea. Come on, come on, get around, get around behind him. Just choke him out, choke him out. Oh, it's not gonna let me because we're in combat. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Ah, oh, man, you were right. You were right, Spooky. I should have saved. I didn't think about it. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. It's gonna be like two hours of gameplay, and I'm not gonna get past this stupid room. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> just, okay. All right. So we're just gonna come up here. Come up here and get a good view. I'm gonna have to start like saving every time I take three steps. Like for crying out loud, man. <laughs> okay, okay, there he goes, there he goes. Go ahead and walk away, dog. Walk away, dog. Quick save. Yeah, I should probably keep in mind what the button for quick save is. Although I've never really understood, like, in a game that you can actively pause and it, like, pauses the time lapse of the game, too, or the time span of the game. I really understood what quick save is different than just, like, hitting escape and saving, right? Like, I never, I never really understood. But, you know. Yeah, no. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, geez, spooky. Go, go take your test, man. Don't get, don't get in trouble. Be a good student. Don't be a fool. Stay in school. All of that rhetoric. All right, come on. All right, time to take your special nap. I'm just going to come over here. Carry, uh, just going to come over. Remember, we're just going to put you on your bed up here. Yep, time for your special nap. Oh, uh oh did he? Oh, okay. For a second, I thought he, like, poofed into the wall. No, I want you on the thing, because if there's rats about, I don't want you getting eaten by the rats. Okay, fine, get eaten by the rats. See if I care. See if I care. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, spooky. What what inflatable said? G good luck, good luck. Genuinely, good luck on your test. Hopefully, it goes well. I mean, we should all be so happy if all of our tests in life go well. Okay, so we're just gonna open this up, just for the sake of. I won't make us reread the lore. I know that that gets a little dull in terms of entertainment quality here. No, look at the coin. Look at the coin. There we go. We'll just steal their money because they're not using it. And now we'll save. Let's go ahead and save it. Yeah. 
I feel like that's I, I feel like reusing the same slave save slot rather than like truly spoofing a million saves and and like having a million saves there. I feel like I feel like the way I'm doing it is uh, is like a healthy medium, right? A healthy balance between the two. Okay, so that guy eventually walks down this way. So I gotta like find a way to hide myself when he comes this way. Um, is he coming this way? Is he coming this way? What's he doing? What's he gonna do? <laughs> Where you going? Where you going, friend? There you go. Come on this way. Alright, so he's gonna come down this way probably. No, don't stop. Don't stop. Keep walking. Come on. Come on. Just I, I, I'm trying to figure out how to kite this guy without actually kite. Oh, shit. This guy's coming. Oh, shit. They're both coming. Ah, oh, jeez. Can I jump on top of this kennel? I can't. Okay. I can use this as a hiding spot. So I can jump down. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, this works, this works, this works. Shh, 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 shh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Nobody, nobody say anything. Shh, shh. Don't let him hear you. Don't let him hear you. Alright, come on, come on. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. He didn't hear us. He didn't hear us. Boom. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. We got one down. We got one down. God. Oh, God. Okay, we gotta save. We gotta save before everything goes tits up. Okay. Lure them into the cell and bend time. That's not a bad idea, Mr. Logic over there. That's not a bad idea. Although, my worry is, like, I don't know how they're going to behave, what with all of them dogs and stuff that they can... Okay, here we go, here we go. Check this, check this out. I've got an idea. I've got an idea floating around in my brain space there. Right? So he's going there. He's not looking. He's not looking. Dog's asleep. Now we just got to Ah, <laughs> you're mine. Just go to sleep, friend. Go to sleep. Yes, I'm. I'm smarter. I win. I'm smarter. You take a nap. You just go to sleep. Ah, <laughs> yes. Now we gonna save this. We gonna save this. Was there? How many rats are there? Was it just the one rat? If it's just the one rat, I'm gonna. Well, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do. I don't even want to kill the rats. I want to go full bleeding heart, never kill anything. There we go. See, now he's out of the reach of the rats. At least in the scope of this game. Maybe not in reality, but we're not concerned with reality here. <laughs> reality has no place here. <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, sleepy doggo. Psh, come here, pupper. Psh, 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 psh. We can carry him. Here we go. We'll just go. We'll pretend I'm giving him belly scratches while I'm carrying him, and we're just gonna put him. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Watch this. Look. I'll be. I'll be kind. I'll be kind. We can steal the dog. Yeah. <laughs> just walk out with the dog and be like, I'm keeping. I'm adopting him. There we go. Look at. See now. Look at. They're taking a nap. They're just taking a nap together. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that just the cutest thing? <laughs> you know what? I haven't checked. Are there any like bone fragments or anything around here? Apparently not. Alright, nothing, nothing to worry about there in the cast. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. So now, let's just check in here. Now is when we go on a shopping spree. Free stuff! Welp, whelping and training of hounds. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. I felt that one coming. Excuse me. Ah, excuse me. Woo! Golly! <laughs> you know, Eldritch, you know what that makes me think of? I don't know if anyone else here is aware of one of the best Christmas movies that exists. Jingle All the Way, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. One of the best Christmas movies that exists. <laughs> and, he, and he feeds the, the, evil, the reindeer that he gets in a fist fight with. He gives the reindeer beer. And that's how they reconcile after, after he punches out a reindeer. It's one of the best scenes that has ever existed in film. <laughs> Inflatable cat, I'm glad you don't regret. I don't regret you joining either. I, I'm, I'm glad you're here. This is, this has been solid. Uh, but we got some lore to catch up in here. From each litter, there's, there's usually somewhere shy of four good pups, but we always drown the runt. 
Them that remain spend three or so months suckling from their mothers before... Oh, I see. We got, like, suckling, suckling from the mothers. We got more of a draw going on for this voice. It's like someone's journal. From the mothers before we start them up with the training. It's simple at first. Returning sticks and sitting still on command. Only pissing outside and the like. But by the eighth month, we got them hunting for scented sack dolls hidden in a scrub forest. Killing wild pigs on command. And taking a man in a padded armor down by hanging onto his forearm. At the end of the first year, we graduate the ones that we that have learned and shoot the ones that haven't. Jesus, these guys are horrible. <laughs> the overseers take them after that, and we never see them again. Except once, walking down Clavering Boulevard, an overseer passed me, preaching about the litany and the white cliff and the evils of witchery, and sure enough, his hound started whimpering and wagging his tail. That's how I knew it was one of mine. Well, from a pup. <laughs> these guys are horrible. Also, that's just not economic. You can make bank offering... Offering those, uh, offering those dogs that are that are flunk outs from the from the evil, you know, throat ripping academy. You can make banks selling those as companion animals. Just foolish, just foolish loss of money right there. Oliver, I've taken the loot and we've gathered it and stashed it in the incinerator room. Oh, my friends, there is something in the incinerator room. Well, we'll have to remember that. It's under the dead hound, so nobody will dig around and find it. Look to your strictures to fi figure out the door code. Lying tongue, wandering gaze, errant mind. I know what that goes to. Lying tongue, so tongue, gaze, mind. Tongue, gaze, mind. I trust you're devout and clever enough to figure it out. Tongue, gaze, mind. Okay, hold on. Hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna take care of this. Tongue, gaze, mind. Remember that. Tongue, gaze, mind. T tongue, gaze, mind. Tongue, 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 gaze, mind. Tongue, gaze, mind. I, I've been known to, to tongue gaze from time to time. <laughs> we'll just pretend I never said that one. All right. Uh, tongue gaze mind. 217. 217. Okay, that's that's the password. It's 217. I'm going to keep saying it out loud like a broken record so I don't forget it. 217. It's 217. Do you know what number it is? It's 217. Okay, hold on. We got two. One. Wait. Hounds. Okay. Just wanted to make sure there wasn't someone waiting for me. There we go. There it is. There it is. What is tongue gaze? I mean, like, tonguing as in the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the sexual activity. And then gaze as in gay people. I've been known to tongue the gaze from time to time. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! No, don't eat him! No, don't eat him! Don't do it! No! <laughs> No! <laughs> he he was doing nothing. No! <laughs> Golly! <sighs> no! Don't you eat me! Don't eat me! Well, I'm hoping that'll have minimal effect on the uh. On the chaos of the area. <laughs> that's, um... Boy, howdy, that's just a shame, isn't it? Hold on, when was my last save? How long ago was that? I feel bad. I feel bad. Ah, that was like six whole minutes ago. Alright, well, we're gonna... Just hope that that doesn't too much to my, do too much to my chaos. Ranking there. <laughs> I, uh... I may have dropped the ball on that one, friends. I may have uh, goofed up just a, just a tiny little bit here. They said it's under the hounds. So we're going to just move all the hounds. Now pick up the hound. Move the hounds. There it is. Look at that. Look at that cache right there. I'm going to make sure there's not anything else under the hounds. Nope. Okay. Alright. What do we got? I don't even need any of this crap. Oh wait, hold on. I will need one of, one of these things because I just have to use one now because I just. Hey, look at that sleep dart. Okay, we'll take that and we'll take the rewire tool. Those are handy. Those are real handy. Okay, well, you know that was, at least at least the guy's death didn't amount to nothing. Okay, we got some kick-ass shit out of it. Like one guard had to be brutally eaten by rats, but he was unconscious. He wasn't aware that he was being consumed, or at least I assume not. Because he didn't scream, but maybe it was just like his throat got ripped out. You know what? We're just not going to think about it. We're just going to go ahead and move on. Pretend like none of this ever happened. Pretend we were never here. Just never here. No. 
It's not, not a problem. It's not a problem. It's fine. It's fine. He was a dick anyway. They were killing dogs. They were what a what a horrible man. What a horrible man. Where's my where's my dark vision? Dark vision is turning me dark, and I'm letting people die by rat. Okay. Okay. All right. Time to regroup. Time to regroup. We're gonna head into here. We're gonna head in here. Okay. We're just gonna. You know what? And I'm just gonna accept. Okay. Let's. We'll just accept that one guy died. And we'll just accept that it happened. Right. No one could have done anything about it. There were just wild, crazy rats. Whoops. No. There we go. There we go. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's go to the office of the high overseer. I'm really hoping that I don't barge into a door that has people waiting there. No. Nope, we're good. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is going smoothly according to plan. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. I'm not dealing with any sort of deep-seated guilt. No way. Mm -mm. Nope, everything is. A-okay. Okay. Keep telling myself what, inflatable cat? The truth? Yeah. Yeah, I will. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Jesus Christ, I thought he was staring back at me for a second. Jesus Christ, I think he kind of was. Holy f... Did you see that? That was horrifying. I don't want to go through that door. Good lord. Wait, where is he now? What a freak. <laughs> oh my god. This has been the most insane session of playing Dishonored. None of them saw. None of them saw. None of them saw anything. None of them saw anything. I'm just gonna close that door. There we go. There we go. See? No one knows. No one knows. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. And you see how clean this area is. No rats around here. Here we go. Look at a nice comfy chair. You just go ahead and hang out there. You you just lounge. You do you, man. You just keep lounging. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> No, I'm not going to feed him to the rats. We're going to put him in a nice comfy chair. I'm not going to I'm not going to feed him to the rats. Okay, all right. There we go. Okay. There's a lot of guys there. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, they're everywhere. <laughs> the door opened and closed on its own. There's definitely not a strange man opening and closing the door. <laughs> this has been the most Benny Hill session I have ever played of this game. Everything has been such chaos. This is insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Okay, look at that. There's an alarm up there. Okay, where's, where's he lounging? There he is. Okay, he's right there. He's right there. He is blind. It's the mask, okay? It ruins his periphery. He has no peripheral vision because of that goofy mask. Like what a what a dweeb wearing a mask, freaking, freaking V for Vendetta, a non psycho. Look at him, look at him. Guy Fox. I love the slow, intense zoom in that it does when I'm looking through. When I'm looking through keyholes. Wait, <laughs> right, like look at this, look at this, look at this. Zooming in. Okay, okay, he's going up. Those guys are still just shooting the shit over there. So we're just going to assume that they're not going to see me. Yep, yep, yep. Keep looking away, keep looking away. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay, it's okay. Just a special nap. Time for a special nap. Come on. I know a guy who's just chilling. He's just chilling in the other room. And I bet you he would love a cuddle buddy. So you're going to come with me, friend. And we're going to put you guys... I think you guys would make a great couple, okay? You both have so much in common. You're guards. You, you are content with dogs being killed just because they're not violent. You're, like, religious fanatics. I mean, I think you guys would hit it off. See, look at you guys already chilling. Chilling like villains. Look at you guys. There we go. Look at that. See, I'm doing everyone's favors. I am saving the city... I'm I'm not intentionally killing anyone. <laughs> and I'm now a matchmaker, so you know. What are you done with your day? 
guards. Okay, we're gonna hope again. Okay, we're gonna now we're gonna hope that more people aren't gonna be coming down. Branding instructions. I forgot what side quest that was for. Yeesh. Okay, we're gonna just come up here. This seems like a relatively safe and quiet landing to be on. Uh oh, we got another guy, and we got a map. Okay, where am I? I'm right here. Okay, okay, okay. So we got upstairs, and that was the downstairs. So I just came in through there, right? Yeah, to the kennels. So I just came in through there, came up the stairs, and I'm right here. And then I just went up these stairs, arrived here. Going through there. Got places. I'm just trying to think about the layout of this place and how I want to go about clearing it out, right? Because I want to... I should probably also reacquaint myself with what the hell I'm doing here. <laughs> Eliminate Overseer, Overseer Campbell. Um, and we're looking for, yeah, the non-lethal. Um, and we can spare Captain Kerno. So as long as I don't kill anyone, I think sparing Captain Kerno is going to kind of take care of itself. If I remember right, I'll eventually have to carry him outside and dump him in a dumpster for pickup later. But yeah, I can make sure he survives, and as long as I just do non-lethal for everything, that'll be fine. Um, the Heretic's Brand, a tool for casting out overseers. So we're going to knock him unconscious and brand him is what we're going to do. So, okay, so I do want to go towards that non-lethal, that brand there. Um, and then we got to find those things, but it'll point those out to me on the map, as, as is tradition. Didn't you know, when you're trying to take down an organization, if you show up in their headquarters, your vision will magically show you where you're supposed to go. Isn't that convenient? So we got that guy over there. Just my luck, I'm going to be here, and he's going to decide to come through the door. I'm going to have to scramble over there. No, I'm not. I'm just going to hide up here. You should come through the door. Open the door. Got to open the door. Open the door. Come open the door. Dude, what are you standing? What are you staring at? Oh, he's looking at a painting. Okay, okay. He's just being cultured. But now he's going to be sleepy. Come here. Shh, 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 shh. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. All right, you come over me. Come over me. It's fine. Everything's fine. Come on. Come along. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm just going to bring you back over. Here we go. There's a nice bench. There's a nice bench. Go ahead and take a take a bench nap. Or flop off the bench. See what I care. It's your nap. Whatever, dude. Weirdo. <laughs> okay. Anyone, anyone else nearby? Look at him. Look at it. Like actually, I, I dig his. I dig his style. Look at how he's chilling there. <laughs> I dig. I dig his style. <laughs> okay. Where's this guy gonna go? Um, I don't like that, that there's still those guys right there. I don't know what their view is going to be. So I'm going to come over here. And here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to save. That's what we're going to do. We're going to save. Everything's going to be safe when we save. Okay. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So, got that. Okay, so that guy just kind of walked up through there. So that actually kind of, that problem took care of itself for the moment. For the moment. I'm going to use a rewire tool. So that way this cannot be triggered at any point. Um, the intent is for it to not be an issue. Because I'm not going to kill anyone. But, nothing wrong with a little bit of insurance, right? Did you get oh, oh, nope, we're not going to go that way. <laughs> what am I seeing up here? I am seeing. Here we go. What's this guy talking about shutters and stuff? This sounds like something that might be relevant for me sneaking around here. Whatever. Okay. There's the branding instructions. Where did that one guy go? He is up there. I wonder if I can... Oh, gee. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, man. I took too long. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. There are two of them now. What? But that means there's only one of them there. <gasps> oh, there's that guy. What? Where are these guys coming from? Why are there so many guys here? Why are there so ding dang many of you? Right, where's he gonna? What? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? 
What are you working on here? Do you got a project or something? Or are you just... There. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm going to go after this guy. He's walking in a direction that I can work with. So. Just keep going this way. Come on. All right. Smooth. Smooth as can be. Look at that. Call me Michael Jackson because I'm a smooth criminal. Hell yeah. Boop. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's going to be the, the, the nap spot for, for the time being here. Close that door. Closing the door. Got to close the door. Closing the door. Don't want anyone to follow. Okay, those that's where all those guys were downstairs. I'm not worried about downstairs at the moment. Not at the moment. Um, oh, can I just, like, climb up? There we go. Can I jump and make it to there? I can. Neat. Look at that. I don't even have to use my powers. Like, I mean, it's fine if I did because it just regenerates, but I didn't have to, you know? There we go. So look at me go. All right. Um, golly, this is complicated. Why are there so many guards everywhere? Okay, there were two in here, but now there's not. I don't know where the other one went. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a guy walking. He walking. He walking. Okay, all right. Where's he going to walk to? I think he might be a good target for a nice little Batmaning here. Where's Rachel? All right, come on, we got him, we got him. Come along. I know a perfect spot for you to nap, buddy. Hey, I got the interrogation room key. Neat. I don't know if I need it. I found a like much better way to just sneak around here. Where did? There were two. It, it one of them didn't wake up, did he? Okay. Well, you know, we're just gonna not ask questions, and we're gonna keep piling them up here. Um. We're also going to save. That was kind of weird. Like, I'm not crazy, right? Like, one of the guys disappeared, right? Like, I'm... I'm, I'm pretty positive there had already been a guy there. Like, I'm not... I'm not losing my mind, am I? I mean, at least not in that regard. I mean, I might be a psycho in general, but not, not for that. Not fi fine, we'll blink up there. Jeez. Jeez. Okay. Man, like I'm I'm putting some work in here, man. There better be some sweet kick ass results. You know, some rewards for all of this. Cause I am I am putting in effort right now. Alright, okay. I'm just gonna it was Martin's plot to break him out of Cold Ridge Prison. That's clear enough. this what's this the fourth stricture oh there's four of them now restrict the roving feet that love to trespass they pay no heed to the boundary stones of a neighbor's fields they wander into foreign lands only to return with their souls blackened by inequity where have you strayed that destruction now comes behind you would you walk across burning coals or broken glass then why do you prowl in the homes of the honest or into the dens of hidden of hidden things for the result is the same you will fall into the void instead rest your feet on a firm foundation so that when the winds of the outsiders shriek against you you will stand firm and not be overthrown it's like a very aggressive structure okay that guy's not coming through the door Okay, hold on. I'm going to I'm going to go after that guy. It's going to happen. But I'm going to save and try and re avoid d catastrophe that way. Okay, you just keep focusing on your book. Just keep focusing on your book. You just keep reading, buddy. There you go. There you go. How cooperative of you. Um, oops. Let's just keep you right there. That's pretty well out of sight. Well, let's tuck you in the corner a bit more. There we go. That's pretty well out of sight from most wandering eyes, but it doesn't seem like people are really coming up here anyway. Neat free maps. The movements of Corvo Atano. 
I was just talking about it. Like, I know what's going on. That's me. That's me. I'm in a book now, guys. I made it. I made the big time. You can tell because I'm in a book. How many of these doofy overseer guards are in uh, are in a book? Huh? That's what I thought. That is what I thought. Deposition log. Ooh, I'm curious. Deposition from Mary Wallace. I smelled a peculiar stench coming from Agatha's window one night. As I looked in the window, I saw her burying over, burning over the f a fire the bounds of something small along with clumps of hair. Deposition from Herbert Alcott. On several evenings as I came home from work, I saw Agatha peering at me unnaturally from behind her curtains. On the fifth day, I felt a pain in my stomach upon approaching her home. Outcome? Agatha's home was searched. Several outlaw... Outlawed items were found, and Agatha was caught as she attempted to flee from the back door. Her interrogation yielded little of use. Home and property seized for the abbey. Remains cremated. Yeesh. Poor Agatha. She got done dirty. She got done dirty. She's just a little... She's just a little bit, you know, with dementia. Didn't need to... Didn't need to go crazy on her over that. At least I would say that you didn't need to. Of course, apparently they disagreed. Boop. Right. I know th and I know there's a guy wandering around here. I know it. I've seen him. There we go. There he is. See? Told you. What did I tell you? Okay. All right. Um oh wait, shoot. But I got I should I'm Just going to pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> just going to pretend that that was totally smooth and 100% intentional. All right, let's grab the branding instructions. The heretic brand is reserved for those overseers who have committed heinous acts against the order, but have not broken codes that would otherwise result in execution. No contact, aid, or shelter can be given to one bearing the brand. That person is forevermore unwelcome to the Abbey and its affiliates. When used, the brand is applied to the forehead. It's like, head on. You apply directly to the forehead. So all can see the sins of the recipient. The chemical compound acts immediately, scarring the heretic for the remainder of life. The interrogation room here at the office of the High Overseer stands ready for branding ritual, should the need arise. The recipient must be strapped into the interrogation chair and restrained as the brand is applied. The heretic brand itself is to be stored in the same room. Oh, so it's a good thing I got the key to that, because it sounds like I'm going to need that. I'm going to be in need of that brand. Um, hey, look, there's like a gold bar down here. I should stop walking. That is making a lot of noise. We stay crouched forever. Forever. What's this? Disclosure log. Half of wages to be given to neighbor for a month for theft of a neighbor's food. Adultery. One year in the service to the order. Uh, spying on his neighbor as she bathed. Public humiliation in the stocks for two days. I don't know, man. It sounds like he's a bit of a lawyer. He might be into that. Excerpt from a work detailing from a work detailing of one of the seven strictures. Restrict the restless hands, which quickly becomes the workmates of the outsider, unfettered by honest labor. They rush to sordid gain, vain pursuits, and deeds of violence. Of what value are the hands that steal and kill and destroy? Instead, put your hands to the plow, the fork, and the spade. For even the lowliest labor that is rigorous squeezes the muscles as a sponge, rinsing impurities from the mind and body. These guys are... I mean, obviously, there's intentionally a lot of... Um, a lot of like, y you know, similarities between that and you know, like the commandments and stuff like that. They're they're obviously, they're they're obviously trying to draw some parallels for us. You know, like there's clearly, yep, you come you come with me, you come with me, you come along. I'm gonna put you up here with your friend. I'm assuming your friends. I mean, why wouldn't you be? I'll just tuck you right here, though. I don't think... I don't get the vibe. I don't get the sense that you and, uh... And you... I don't get the sense that those guys are... Like, I mean, they're, they're, they're good workplace acquaintances. Might go grab a beer after... Um... After together, but... Nah, they're not... They're not... They're not lovers. They're not feeling it. You know? And that's fine. There's nothing... There's nothing wrong with that. Not everyone has to be in love with everyone, okay? there. Whoop. So here's the interrogation room for when that becomes relevant. Um, and I have the key here. No, oh, give me my, give me my view back here. Let me see everything. 
Um, 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 um. Okay, we're gonna come down here. Open this up. Open the door. Gotta open the door. Open the door. Just we open the door. That stuff. Doesn't hear anything. Don't need soul collapse. Don't seem to be a whole lot of people around here. I wonder why that could be. <laughs> Who could have done such a horrible thing? here. I'm just gonna like take the time to sort of pre-prep this area because I know I gotta eventually go to that war room. Gotta eventually go back to that room and find the dude that I need to brand here. But if I get everything like see if I get all of this stuff prepped I can just grab him and go. And look at that. It paid off because we got some sleep darts. The Great Trials! So so great. Spending two years in the company of heretics, the insane, and those rare black-hearted villains who were truly practitioners of magic, I can say with truth that I have seen such things as to break the minds of most. While the trials and burnings weigh heavily upon my heart, I must chronicle what has been a unique opportunity to witness the multifarious perversions that the outsider bestows upon those who seek his black counsel. Many of those we faced were accused of bewitching their neighbors or family, controlling them from afar, or even walking around in their skins. And I have seen this with my own eyes, as one woman slid w into the form of another, prowling unseen until a vigilant overseer struck down both the witch and her host. Others detailed herein were found to stand in two places seemingly at once, or to vanish from one place and appear in another. Our work was dire, we knew, for if the followers of the outsider can truly inhabit the skin of another, or move from place to place like the wind, then how can we hope to erect walls to keep him out? It was these trials that first led us to the, uh, to investigate barriers beyond the physical. This, like, one of the things that I really like about um, the lore that they have in this game is that it really feels like kind of an alternate reality where, like, particularly I think of um, the parallels it draws with uh, the Salem Witch Trials, where it's like, what if the magic that the church was so heavily against was indeed real. Right? And I think that's a really interesting concept to explore, you know? I really I really appreciate the the ideas that it, you know, explores and and, and investigates. Um, I don't know. I, I really appreciate lore in games like that in general. I love games that have, you know, a a meaningful, complex, uh, interesting lore. I think it's I think it's cool when they you know, when they take the time to flesh out the world. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, there is a guard over there. I wondered. I wondered. What the hell? What on earth? Hold up, hold up. Okay. Where the hell did this guy come from? Alright, well. That was close. I'm going to say that that's a successful avoidance of too much trouble because there don't seem to be more guards. We're going to go ahead and just let that be. Put you there. See, like, a guard keeps disappearing. I'm wondering if there's one that keeps waking up or some shit. Right? Like, that seems to be it seems to be what's going on here. It seems to be what the dealio is. And, not going to lie, not a fan. There are lots of things that I'm okay with, and I just don't know that that's one of them. Just saying. Um, okay, so there's a couple guys right over there. Shoot, 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 shoot. Hide over here. Come on, please don't see me. Please don't see me. Okay. Okay, so there's a guy right there. No, 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 no. Bring me, bring me my view back here. Let's do that. I just want to make sure that he's not going to walk out and see me. If he goes back down the stairs, then we're good. Okay, I guess he's not going down the stairs, but that that will that will, that will do. That's acceptable. Um, what I want to do now here, so I'm blink up here, come in here. Okay. 
So now they're going to enter here. If I'm remembering this properly, they're going to walk in. I think they walk in from there. I think those two guys were the two silhouettes I saw through the wall. And they're going to come in here, and I will have a good opportunity to sleep dart them both. I will probably slow time and sleep dart them both. And I think that should suffice. Yeah, yep, see, time for drinks. They're going to come in here. And I'm going to need to be fairly quick about it because I'm pretty sure one of the teacups is poisoned. All right, so we're going to want to be ready to bend time and make them go asleep. Right, hold on, I'm going to come over here. Hopefully make sure I'm avoiding. Okay. Yep, they're just going to walk in now. Okay, here's okay, here we go, here we go. Just want to make sure that they're not moving and I can have a good view of both of them here. Thank you. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. We're gonna make this happen. Sleep. Nope, nope, nope. Come on, we can still sleep. Okay, okay. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Good. And no one else seems to be aware of what's going on. Yep, he is not aware. Shoot. Is that, are they coming in? Oh, shit. They're going to come in. Fuck. And I don't have... Don't come in. Don't come in. Don't you walk in. Please don't walk in. Okay. Um. I'm just going to tuck them in a corner and hopefully make it so that they won't be seen if anyone comes in. At least not until I have the chance to, like, take out anyone who would observe and notice. Okay, we're just going to put them over here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm in big trouble. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm in trouble. I'm in, I'm in big trouble. This is, this is bad news. This is really bad news. Oh, my God. This is such bad news. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No way. No way. No way. No way. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot get away with this. There's no way I'm going to get away with this. There's absolutely no way I'm going to get away with this. This is insane. Dang it. Oh, shoot. Oh my god, I was really hoping I would get away with it. No, and I don't have any sleep darts. Shit. Oh god, that's a bummer. That's such a bummer. Okay, hold on. How long ago was that autosave? That was three minutes ago. Damn it. Okay, 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 okay. Yep, let's load that autosave up and see where that takes us. See if that puts me in a place. Whoops. Oh, shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. Back up we go. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, I think the idea is okay, but what I should probably do, I wonder if I can... Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. We're going to keep the same idea. We're going to knock them out, and then I'm going to blink with them up here. So that way I can lay them down up here, and we can just wait for the proper opportunities, the proper opportunities, if you will, uh, to, <laughs> to, carry, or to, to carry them out where I need to dump them. That's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to do this. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I can make this work. And as long as I... And I can try harder to not miss with any of my... Uh, I can try to not miss with any of my sleep darts so that I have at least one sleep dart remaining that I can use. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's go there. And there. Okay. Alright, now I do need to still be quick about all of this. Carry you. Up here. And we'll drop you up there. And we'll grab you. 
drop you up here. Okay. Okay. No, don't you fall. Don't you fall. Okay. 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 Hold on. We're going to save this. We're going to save this. We got some success here. We're going to save this. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Okay. All right. All right. All right. See, now there's these guys going to come in here. And I'm going to have to be just attentive and careful. I I'm, I'm, I think, I, I get the feeling that I'm probably going to have the most success um, at being stealthy and non-lethal if I take all of these guys out. Right? Like, I'm going to want to knock them out as they're patrolling. But if I wait, see, they're going to see... See, they're going to get all defensive without really reason, actually. Like, I don't know. Beyond just the fact that they're clearly scripted to do this. Okay, here we go. See, here's what we can do. No, no, no. Get him, get him, get him before he goes through the door. We're going to put you up here. This is turning into a really effective hiding spot for all of these bodies here. Just to put them up there. Okay, so we got that guy taken care of. That guy is out of the picture. We don't need to worry about him. Um, there are... Damn it. Oh, shoot. I had the wrong thing here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need this one up. Here we go, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get ourselves back up here. Need to figure out where those guys wandered to for their patrols. I know they're around. You know, it's like we, we know they're around. Actually, you know what, though? You know what, though? I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this guy. This is the guy that I need to brand. I need to brand this guy. So we are going to... Just walk with him al along this way here. And we can just leave him up here. We can leave him up here on this little catwalk if we need to to take care of some other poopy, poopy butt heads. Um, yeah, I think. I don't know what's going to be the best way to. Just kind of keep blinking our way here. I'm going to take it nice and slow so I can regenerate as much of my uh, mana as possible without having to use up too many potions and stuff. Because I want to save those in case I need to make like a real, a real hell of a getaway at any point in time. Going through here. Go through here. Okay, now let me just check and make sure. Hold on. Make sure there's not. Okay, I don't see any guards wandering around here, so I think we're good to. Go ahead. There we go. Let me just make sure. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anyone else around. We're gonna save just in case. Just in case. Last thing I want is for this to all go too belly up here. Here we go. Alright, let's brand them. You have been branded. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So he's been taken care of. Let's get back up here. Now I need to make my way back. Um, okay, yes, yeah. So we got to go grab that other guy. So he's, he's taken care of in there. Blink our way back. Don't trust my ow oh, crying out loud. Well that's fine, I guess it doesn't really matter. There's not anyone here at the moment. Okay, so we'll come back here. Now we're gonna go back over to our tea room. I'm 
going to grab our friend. I'm also going to grab that bone charm that was hanging out over there. I did see that. I, I was aware of that. So we're going to go grab that. Just oh so quickly. Actually, you know what, what I can do? There's that one there. And there is another one, but it's going to be down below. Um, so I'm just going to go grab this one over here very quickly. Got it. Okay. Let's blink ourselves back up here. And now we have to carry this guy to someplace safe. Yeah, so that's going to be on the floor below. Okay. So. I'm just going to keep paying attention here. Basically, I'm just going to keep trying to be silent and stealthy while carrying this guy around. Because they kind of just play into each other, right? <clears throat> no, pick him up. Dang you. I want you to pick up the remedy. That's what I wanted you to do, you dope. So, yes, yeah, so we got those guys all down there. Um, and then there's that guy over there. You know what we're going to do? We're not going to even play games. Do not trust that. There we go. There we go. See? go there we go look at me look at me learning how to do this I'm like an old pro at this point see and then we'll just drop him there oh shoot oh no did he fall and die did he die did he fall down and die did he seriously fall down and die hold on a second hold on a second hold up hold up that can't be Oh my god! Oh my god! He fell down and died. <laughs> god damn it! I'm not no that I'm not accepting that. No way. No way am I gonna accept that. It's only like four minutes of gameplay that we lost. It's not a big deal. Yes, I want to load that save. I don't know. I think the last save was yeah. We just finished branding him. That's oh my gosh. That is that is enraging right there. I cannot believe he fell and died. What kind of idiot falls off and dies? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Golly. I can't believe that happened. I can't believe that happened. That's just so absurd. So absurd. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so it's stable up there right now. Oh, pick up the thing. There we go. Okay, fine. So that's the guy that's going to eventually wander back over here. And that's okay. Because now I know the guy is, like, stable where I laid him down. And not precariously going to fall and die. I cannot believe he fell and died. That is the most ridiculous thing. That is just so ridiculous. I cannot believe that happened. <laughs> Alright, come on, dude. I know, I know there's guys around here. That are gonna, like, walk in as soon as I don't want them to, right? Dang it. Come on, regenerate. Go. Regenerate you, mana. There doesn't seem to be anyone through here at the moment. Oh, there goes that guy. Sweet. I do like money. I like money. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, is it? You don't even know who I am. How do you know what's going to be bad? How do you know, buddy? You don't. You don't know. Is he going to come through this door? Oh, jeez. If he comes through this door, I'm going to be in trouble. 
Oh, do you? Do you know that, really? Okay, hold on. Where's he gonna go? I know you're here somewhere, scum. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going around there. Where and are we get to him. Oh, for crying out loud! <sighs> you know. You know, it just. All right, well, well, that's the same spot that I was. Dang it! Gosh, dang it! I have no one to blame but myself for that one. Truthfully, truthfully, only myself to blame. Only myself to blame. I can't trust this game to be consistent. Um, you know, we're just gonna freaking like rapid hop and just use up our potions. Like, screw it, right? Like, what the hell is the money for? If not to buy more potions? Golly, that's annoying. That is so aggravating. It's so aggravating. Okay, where is that asshole? Why does he take forever? Okay, I know he's through there. Grab that. Blink back up there. Let's come over here. Let's come over here. Let's just wait for the asshole. Oh, stop going over and looking at the friggin' wall, you dumb dumb. Oh, God. Oh, man, I pulled something in my back at the gym this morning, and I've been uncomfortable ever since. Oh, and I can feel that I've been sitting still for a long time and not stretching it. I want to, I just want to, like, get myself to a stable point here. I gotta, I gotta log off soon. Um, but I want to get my, so help me if you don't come through this door. God. Oh my gosh, I could kill him. I could kill him! Alright, save game. Let's make sure I got a save going here. There we go, okay. Alright, dude. So help me if you don't... Okay, fine. You know what? I'm gonna go after him. Let's just save it. I'm gonna try it. Oh, shut up. Alright, come on. Come on, you. Yeah, yeah. Everyone knows everything, don't they? Alright, let's just bring him... Let's just bring him to that back storage room here. Bring him along. Over here. We'll just tuck him back here, I think. That's a good spot for you. Let's grab our cigar box here. Boink. Who likes money? I like money. Uh-oh. Okay. Close that door. Okay, so that guy's going to come in. He's going to patrol around. And then when he leaves, I can go. I'll just have to be quicker about trying to sneak. We'll just blink up above and then drop down on him. Like I said, we'll just Batman him. That'll be fine. That'll work. That'll be more reliable. We'll take care of it. We'll get him taken care of. <laughs> I love just the like random like, where are you? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and your declarations. No, I'll find you. No, you won't. Not this time. Not this time, buddy. Old buddy, old pal. We're gonna pile you up with the other guy. Ha, ha, ha. And you guys can snuggle. Whatever. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we got that. And we still got our friend up here. Friend up there. Alright, you know what actually what we're gonna do? This is a pretty stable spot it's pretty pretty stable, safe place. Um, I'm gonna save and I gotta I gotta get going. I got stuff I gotta do. Um, and I'm bumping up against my uh, my assigned quitting time here for today. Um, I always talk about how I need to stick with my schedules and stuff. So Save the game. Save it over there. Gotta save. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, despite my struggles to, to stealth through, <laughs> managed to make some decent progress uh, going along. Still largely low chaos. I'm assuming that one guy got eaten by rats, but we're going to just not worry about that one. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, but it was, uh, I think, made some good progress. It was a good session today. Had some good, cool conversations. I uh, don't know if anyone is uh, still sticking with me live at this point in time, but no matter there, because 
as always, I will be uploading the VOD. Um, it will be on Twitch, and I do upload it to my YouTube channel. You can find the link to the YouTube channel on my uh, on all of my Twitch info pages and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, you can check it out there. Um, but yeah, this was fun. Uh, I I I enjoy myself when I'm streaming. Like I say, it's you know I I'm hoping that I can continue this even as COVID winds down and working world sort of begins resuming what it was, golly, at this point over a year ago. But um, aside from that, I'm having a blast with it right now. Um, upcoming this week, uh, tomorrow and Friday, we do have more uh, writing streams. And then Thursday, we'll be, we will be playing more Dishonored here, um, hopefully with a bit more success than this time. <laughs> uh, Saturday, possibly also um, some streaming. It's looking like my Saturday might be open after handling Mother's Day stuff. Um, and just for anyone, at the very least, in America, I don't know if the dates are different for the holidays such as Mother's Day around the world. I don't know enough about that. But Mother's Day is coming up this Saturday, so reminder for everyone. Um, but that means that I, uh, if I do stream on Saturday, it'll be at a weird time because I do have, like, it'll be in the evening because I do have um, stuff planned uh, with, with, with my ma. Um, you know, I'm a mama's boy, so I'll be, I'll be celebrating Mother's Day with her. Um, but yeah, that's what I got. That's what's upcoming. Like I say, uh, every day this week around this time, I will be streaming. Um, yep, Thursday, Thursday gaming. Uh, Wednesday and Friday will be, uh, will be uh, writing. But um, that's all I got. That's it. That's it. That's all there is. That's, that's, it's done. It's done. There's no more. That's the end of the stream for today. That's all there is. Look for the VOD. Look for the VOD and past VODs if you want more of me today. They're there for you. They're there for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for everyone who stopped by. Uh, anyone who's still with me, thank you. Uh, I appreciate the support. I appreciate you being here. Uh, and thank you for anyone watching the VODs after the fact. I appreciate the, that the interest transcends being able to watch me live. Um, I do appreciate that. Um, and just as always, if you're still watching at this point in time, please go out and be good to other people. Um, you know, a lot of people don't make a whole lot of efforts to take care of one another, and I personally believe that that's kind of one of the sources of many problems in this world is people just not taking care of each other so let's let's go out and let's try to be the change uh, that we want to see in that front right so let's go out and take care of each other let's make each other smile and be good to each other um, that's just my final request but with that that's all I got so thank you everyone I appreciate you thank you for stopping by and uh, I suppose we will see you next time <laughs>